everyone, it's Goddess Lily. Um, I am finished this wig, but what I decided that I was going to do is take you on this whole journey with me from when I finished ventilating to all the steps that I do to create the inversion because I'm going to turn around as you can see. Let's see, I'll turn this way. There's no hair in the back. I just finished ventilating it tonight and I'm going to show you um, go through the stitch pattern with you so I'm gonna do that whole process just and then upload one real long huge video from beginning to end but I just kind of want to show you this really quickly and um, let me zoom in so you can really look at the stitches because as you know um, Let's see, I'm gonna look in the mirror. From here to here is all, um, <clears throat> it, well, it's, first of all, it's all double knotted. So from here to here, it's like every other hole. So it's not even straight. So you can pretty much see the pattern of every other hold how the part looks and you know I don't bleach my knots so um because I like my ways to last like five years okay so from here to like here is every other hold and then from here maybe to about here it's one strand in every hole. So you can tell the density, right? See how thin that, that part is and how wide the part is? I really like the every other hole and it went really quickly too. So it gets a little more thicker. And then back here is two to three strands double knotted. So that's to cover up the tracks and give me some bulk back here. And then I'll say I did about, this is a 4.5 inch I me measured it. So I'll say I did maybe one inch of two to three all the way down. And then I did, then I started single strands. No, I might have did like a half an inch of one to two strands double knotted and then from like here on it's all single strands double knotted but from here on this three inches it's uh, every other hole so that gave it a wider part and I did that for the whole I did it for like a three by three radius so I think I probably only have maybe right to here and then if I go down more it's gonna, you know, start getting uh, larger knots. Like these are, I believe, two to three to give me the bulkiness on the side. So then it, so then um, I'll sh also show you the inside because this is not a full, full frontal. This is a, let me zoom the camera back. I hope I had it close enough so you could see. Um, this is a four by four inch or four by five inch closure. And then my sides are only one inches. I think I can just go ahead and show you that. I only did one inch ventilation down the sides because this is like this wavy curly hair. So I just really don't need to wear it. You know, I didn't need a full frontal. Although, okay, so I started off when I made the cap and sewed the lace. I was going to do a full, a full frontal. You know, full frontal is like your inch, your sides are like, you know, three to four inches and five inches. But then I decided, mm, I just going to ventilate an inch. So if you look really close, this is the side. This is pretty much just an inch on each side. Of ventilation and then I ha added the um, 
wig making lace all the way out so I can machine sew because you just really can't machine sew through this Swiss lace. Even though Swiss lace is kind of durable, you want it to last over the years. So I added, I always add two um, layers of this net. So you can tell just so it can last because I mean, you start machine sewing. This is really just like a stretchy gauze. Eventually, holes are going to get in it. I mean, you start take pulling tracks out. I already had to pull a track out to um, space it out a little more. I didn't like the way it kind of landed here. So I actually will go through machine sewing the tracks with you. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so that video probably won't be up for a while because it just takes a little while to start doing things like, you know, the things that I mentioned. Okay, thank you for watching.